So that query right there will reset the password in the database to our own choosing. So after that, what we want to do is we want to make sure the password was changed. So to do this, we're going to create another MySQL query. This time, we're going to set it in a variable of query. So MySQL underscore query. So the parameter inside of our query here, what it's going to do is we want to make sure that the username and password are tied to this account. So, so we're going to do that. So we want to say select asterisk or select all from users. And I, I forgot to mention this earlier, but I have mentioned it in previous videos. Uh, when I'm typing in all caps, like for example in these queries and for post the post array, um, it must be in all caps or else you will get errors. So we want to say select all from users, then where username equals our user variable from the database or from the uh, the form itself, and then we want to say and um, password equals dollar sign password. So what that's going to do is it's going to say if username and password in the database are matching then our password has been reset. So to be able to check for that we want to use the MySQL num rows again. So we want to set our query inside of there. So we want to put in an if statement saying if num rows equals equals one. So if the username and password are in the database tied to that to this account, um, then the num rows function will return one, which means it has been reset. Um, if it hasn't been reset, we're going to say um, an error has occurred and the password was not reset. So, and there's actually a type over there. So, if our password has been reset, then what we want to do is we want to email the user with their new password. So, we want to create our email vars, or our email variables. So, our uh, webmaster email, if you will, um, and this is the email that is going to be sending the user their email. So this will be the um, whoever sent the email. In this case, I'm going to use admin at nickfrosty.com. And we want to create our headers, which will actually um, set that value into um, the PHP mail function. So we want to say capital F, lowercase rom, so from and then colon, space, and then our webmaster variable. Now, if you want this to show up as from a, a name, you want to put in um, greater than less than signs, um, wrapping our webmaster variable, and then you want to say whatever it's from. So I'm going to say this is from Nick Frosty, and it's from the email of admin at nickfrosty.com. Then we want to set our subject, and for this we will say your new password then we want to create our message so we will simply say hello um, your password has been reset your new password is below so obviously this is a very simple message being sent to the user um, and if you're using this on a live website what you want to do is maybe put in um, a message saying something like um, if you didn't request your password to be reset then notify the webmaster or the owner of the site or yourself um, saying that um, that you didn't request your password changed and that someone's trying to hack your account essentially so, we're going to add our new password to this, and we want to say dot slash, or dot equals, which means append. So we're going to append this variable into here. 
and we want to say backslash n, which will give us a new line inside of our message, and we're going to say password, colon space, and then our pass variable, and then just another line. So obviously that's a very simple and rudimentary message, but it works. So what we're going to do before we go ahead and try to send our met our email is we need to actually encrypt our password. So we're going to create that password variable. So our password variable is um, it needs to be equal to our salted um, our salted password here. So you can see that is our salt our password salt there. So obviously we want to set this in here. So our password is going to be our pass encrypted. And obviously this is in all likelihood different for yourself um, because that would create a more secure password for your website. So that will encrypt our password. And now what we want to do is we want to put an if statement and go ahead and throw in our else and our echo. And our echo for our else will be an error has occurred and your email was not sent containing containing your new password. So essentially what we're going to do is in this if statement we're going to call the PHP mail function. So we're going to say if mail and then Essentially, what this is going to allow us to do is it's going to check and make sure that our mail, our email, has actually been sent. Because obviously, we want it to send. So, um, our first parameter will be our email, and this is the email that is receiving the message, and this is the user's email. Then we have our subject, then the message, and then we have our headers. So, that will actually send the, um, the email itself. Then we will have a simple display message saying your email has been reset, or not your email, sorry, your password has been reset, an email has been sent with your new password. So it's a very simple message and uh, simple setup. So. In order to be able to test for this, we need to, um, you could run this on a live server, but because I'm not running this on a live server, this function will fail because it won't send. So because of that, I'm going to echo out the um, password that is um, generated from all of this, so then I can, uh, I can test this out and make sure we can still log in. So. What we're going to do is we're going to reset the admin uh, password. So right there is our password hash that is currently in the database, and we want to reset that. So we're going to type in our username of admin and the email of admin at nickfrosty.info, admin at nickfrosty.info, and we're going to click reset password. So, oh. Um, you notice that all of this information has been passed through our URL um, because inside of the form I forgot to set a method of post. So method equals post and if we navigate back to this page let's try this again. We want to reset the admin password the username is, or the email is admin at frosty.info. Reset password. You entered the wrong email address. Did I? Okay, reset. Okay, so you can see right here um, an error has occurred and this is because um, our email, um, our email function is not able to, or our mail function, sorry, is not able to run because um, I don't have my local host um, email set up working. 
So if I simply refresh this and notice that that is the password hash right there. And if I click browse again, and I have to log back in, you can notice that our password has been reset. Now obviously this doesn't help us because I don't know what the password is. So I'm going to fix that to make it so it will echo out the new password before. And I'm going to refresh the form and resend. And notice that we have our new password right there. So if I keep refreshing this form, that password will keep changing. So that's our randomly generating password. So this is our current password. So what I'm going to do is because our email has actually been sent, I'm just going to type it right there. Since our email hasn't been sent, but our password has been reset, you can see it again, see it's changed. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our login page now. So we're going to log in as admin, and I believe the previous password was password, and that's what I just typed in. If I click login, you did not enter the correct password. Try to log in as admin again. This time, I'm going to control V on my keyboard, or actually, I'm going to right click, click paste, I'm going to log in, and you've been logged in as admin. Click here to go to the member page. We're on the member page now. Now, whether or not this is a secure password that has been generated, which, since it's 15 characters long, uh, and uh, letters and numbers, it's a fairly secure password. But the problem with that is most people want to be able to have their own password and be able to um, change the password after they've reset it because they forgot it or whatnot. So obviously, um, following this tutorial, what we're going to need to create is a um, change password page that um, after the user has changed their own password, or maybe they just want to change their password for whatever reason, they can just log in and then they can change their password. So it's a necessity in, in most member systems these days. So that will be the next part of this tutorial. Don't forget to check out my website, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe on YouTube.